We headed to Namsan, to the National Theater of Korea. The stage was set for a performance of Richard III, and that's also where we found Lauren, who would be playing the role of Queen Elizabeth that evening. This is the stage. Wow. This is so cool. Yeah, it's a really nice set. Like, it's very multi-level. Yeah. So does it, is it, does it represent, like, a castle? Is that what this is all? Or does it multifunctional and multi It's sort of multifunctional, yeah. yeah. Um, Can we go up there? Yep. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> there are steps in the back, too. Oh, which, so you... Uh, yeah. So we, we enter and exit from these steps. Richard III is a part of um, Shakespeare's history plays. Um, this company has been putting on the history plays in order. Uh, they did the, the previous play before this, Henry VI, Part Three, just a couple months ago. Tell us a little bit about the, the performance. It's, um, from what I was reading, it's not a standard performance, right? It's not just an English performance or a Korean performance, is that true? Right, yeah. It's mostly in Korean, um, but our Michael Downey, who plays Clarence, um, in all the performances is speaking English. This is a experimental bilingual production of Shakespeare. So in a dialogue between a Korean actor and an English speaking actor, it'll be half in Korean and half in English. We have two uh, surtitle uh, screens and one has English, the other has Korean at oh, all okay. times. Uh. So people can follow along there. I think probably the, the reasoning behind it is, to, is for audiences to be able to hear Shakespeare's text in the original language while also being able to follow along with the story. So you have a mixture of things that most of the audience can understand in Korean while also having a chance to hear the original text. So the Queen is like a really emotional role though. Like, Yeah. How do you prepare yourself for that? Or is there a way to? Before the really emotional scenes, I, I just kind of spend some time like getting ready for those because I have to come on crying in two scenes. Um, but at the beginning like of the- full flood tears? Yeah, I mean, I mean, it doesn't have to be that way, but yeah, that's, that's the way I'm doing it. So um, the beginning of the play though, uh, I just have to be somewhat worried. So I can start out in a sort of normal headspace mm -hmm. and then over the course of the play, I can work toward mm -hmm. the larger emotional kind of states. For me, I, I like delving into a role um, and I do, like being in front of an audience, um, but I, you know, it's it's always under the guise of this other role. What's the expat theater community like? Is it? I mean, are, are people really active? Is because I yeah. don't know a lot yeah, about it at all. It it's a very active community because you have a lot of people who um, like majored in acting or have worked as actors in their home countries and then they come here for whatever reason, whether it's because they needed a more kind of stable, steady job for a while, or because they wanted an interesting cultural experience and to be abroad. Um, and so people come here and they, um, they have kind of their regular job, but then that allows them to then spend their free time doing these artistic things. For one thing, I'm, I'm inspired by seeing people that I know doing amazing things. Like I, I love, um, having friends who are performers or who do do these incredible things. They're like normal people during the day and then they get on stage and they have like this superpower. How soon do you have to go on stage? Uh, I don't know, but I do have to like kind of prepare a bit. Sure, right. Are you nervous? <laughs> no, not nervous. You've been doing just, this for like a while now, like the shows. When did the show start again? Like what? Last week. Last it's been, week. been a week. Okay. Yeah, it's just a week long run. Yeah, this is my fifth and final performance yeah. as like the as a lead role. Okay. I'd say it's getting kind of busy. I think that maybe we should, should let, let her, let her yeah. finish up and we can <laughs> like people are sorry, yeah, people no, are coming no, in. And we're like, <laughs> it's so weird. I'm like, oh yeah. Like having people watch me put on makeup and high like, pressure, we're gonna yeah. like anyway, okay, we're gonna let you prep and uh, finish up and we're going to go ogle everyone else. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's quite thrilling to be on stage in front of an audience. In a way, it's kind of like um, like bungee jumping or something, you know, just beforehand. It can be nerve-wracking. Sometimes before a show, I'll be thinking, like, oh, why do I, why do, I do theater? 
this is terrifying. But, um, but then on stage, there's this feeling of, you know, I, yeah, I know what I'm doing, or I'm in the zone, and I'm enjoying responding to whatever's happening. Maybe the biggest reward of being a performer here in this community is just being a part of the community and being part of something that is special and this um, network of people who know each other and respect each other's work and are all trying to develop our abilities together.